Hi guys, it's Candy, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get a very full coverage flawless foundation. Now this may not be your everyday makeup, this may be if you're going to get school portraits or a photo shoot or your driver's license or anything where you want very full coverage. Or maybe this is just going to be your everyday. If you have freckles you don't like, like me, or you have any skin discolorations or spots that you really wanna have a flawless doll-like finish. If you like very sheer and light, kinda of no makeup looking things, you may not like this tutorial as much, but for those that want very doll-like skin, like you used an app to make your skin look perfect but it's in real life, then you will love this. So I will show you how to go from this to this. I'm gonna show you with all the products that I'm gonna be using, and I'm also gonna show you some drugstore options. Now, this look requires a lot of layering to really get that perfected look, so don't be scared by how many products or layers that we're going to be using. If you want this flawless look, it's just kind of all the products that you have to use to do that. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get started. And be warned, because I'm not gonna have any makeup on in a second, and I'm not gonna look anything like this, so just be warned. So the first step in getting a very full coverage and flawless face is a BB cream or a primer. This is going to help whatever foundation you put on top really work really well because the red will have already been canceled out so whatever colors in your foundation can really go to work to make your skin look flawless. So today I'm going to be using the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. A couple drugstore options are NYX BB Cream, Revlon uh, Miracle Blur helps fine lines, there's pore minimizing ones, there's Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer, and also Photo Ready BB Cream by Revlon is one of my drugstore favorites. You can use whichever one is your favorite, but I'm just going to take this and spread it on with my fingers, which I just washed my hands so I'm not afraid of my own clean hands. And you're just going to apply this all over your face just like you would a moisturizer, everywhere. Now you can already see it's gone to work canceling some of the redness that was in my skin. And now we're ready for foundation. Next I'm going to start with a liquid foundation. I'm going to be using um, the YSL foundation. Another one of my favorites is the Makeup Forever High Definition. And a drugstore cheaper version is the L'Oreal True Match. Now you can apply this with a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to be going old school and using my clean fingers on my face because the warmth helps emulsify the makeup and really helps it get really good coverage. But if you're working on a client, you definitely want to be using a sponge. And again, this is just going to go all over the face, just like you would moisturize, put it everywhere. Now it's time to really get that full coverage, which is the extra steps you wouldn't do on a normal daily basis, or maybe you want to do this on a daily basis. So what I like is this Cover Effects the Contour Kit, because you can use these to really kind of contour and conceal a pigment, and Cover Effects is very pigmented. I am also totally obsessed with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancers, which are great concealers, and we're also going to use these babies because they are amazing. And then there's also this Cover Effects Cream Concealer, which is great for underneath the eyes. It doesn't make it cakey or heavy, it's really light but it has so much pigment in here. I think this is one of the highest pigment payoffs in all of Sephora. More than Kat Von D, more than any of the other cream pigments is the cover effects. This stuff is just awesome. So first, you could take any kind of your cream foundations are gonna be much heavier than your liquid. So you always wanna build with your liquid first and that's gonna give you a pretty everyday coverage of foundation. But then because we want this very full coverage, you can go back in with your creams, which are gonna be much more pigmented. So this is the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation. And I just have like these little freckly guys, which I don't like. So I'm going to just start applying this, not everywhere, but definitely in the areas where I have like little freckly things I just, I don't like. So we're gonna get rid of all of those. We're definitely gonna go up here on the forehead. I always do the eyelids because you really wanna cover the eyelid area. The skin on the eyelid is very thin, so lots of veins and purple and red colors pop out. So this is really gonna help. So when you put your foundation on or your eyeshadow, you're gonna have the truest color eyeshadow. You're not gonna have that red and veiny colors poking through. Go underneath the eyes for sure. And then I just have freckles that, you know, they're cute on other people. I don't know why I think they're adorable on everybody else. I just don't like them on me. I'm like, that doesn't look perfect and doll-like. I'm gonna go around the nostrils. I got these little freckly things and skin damage right there. We're gonna cover those guys up. Now you can see there's still a couple of these little dark spots of skin damage that are still poking through. So I'm gonna use the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan. This is an SX07 and I'm just gonna take a brush and I really want to hide those guys, all of these little spots and imperfections. So anywhere you see anything that you want covered up, you can just apply this a little heavier. If you mix this with a little bit of your moisturizer, you can also use this as a foundation if you just thin it out. So I'm just gonna use my sponge to kind of soften this guy. 
Now you can use the sensual skin enhancers for under the eye. It's very thick and probably a little thicker than you want. You don't want any creasing or anything underneath your eye, but I have used it before and I love it. I'm gonna take the Cover Effects, the cream concealer, and this stuff is just awesome. It's very thin. It doesn't get cakey or heavy underneath the eye. And we're just going to highlight underneath the eye area. And then we're just gonna blend it with our sponge. And already we're looking pretty flawless. Now it's time to do a little bit of contouring. And as you guys know, this is my RCMA VK palette in number 11 with all these awesome contouring colors that I love. Now a drugstore option for these is the NYX Mineral Veil. So you can just get these sticks in kind of different colors. So you'd use this for your highlight and you'd use this for your dark. You can do this with any shade of concealers that you find in the drugstore too. It doesn't have to be specific for contouring. Just get one color that's light and one color that's a little bit darker in a concealer or foundation and you can use that to contour also. I wanna give a little contouring to my face so I'm just gonna take this color that we can see is much darker than my natural color and I'm just going to contour around the hairline. You can use this with your sponge or brush but I'm just keeping it real when I do it on myself. I just use my fingers so feel free to use your sponge or whatever. I just like how it emulsifies with my fingers. I dab it here at the outer corner of the eye. We're gonna do a little cheekbone contouring right here. We'll show you with the sponge. You can take the lightest color of the Sensual Skin Enhancer and we're just going to highlight down the center of the nose. I'm gonna add some highlight up here. We're gonna conceal the lips because we wanna cancel all the redness out for that too. Then we can take our Beauty Blender and soften this line up a little. We can take our darker color from the VK palette and contour the sides of the nose. Okay, so now comes the very important part of locking all of this color in. So you wanna use a translucent powder to set all your makeup, otherwise it's gonna melt off and smear off and all this work is like for nothing. This translucent powder from Cover FX is really great to use, but if you want very, very flawless, high definition, you're gonna look like you're photoshopped, you wanna use a high definition powder. So this is the Makeup Forever High Definition Powder, which is amazing. Your skin will look so perfect when you put this on. I don't know of any drugstore dupes that will work as well as this, but I'm going to show you. It comes like this, you put your sponge in here, and then you just press it on, and this is what's going to set your makeup and lock it in place and make you just look like you have angel skin. Okay, so a huge snowstorm started happening and totally changed the lighting, so I had to bring my light in, so if the lighting looks weird, it's because there was like a blizzard outside. But basically, after you set your face with this powder, the only thing you may want to know is it's very hard to apply a cream or a lot of pigments once you put the high definition micro finish powder. So if you want, sometimes you can dab a little more concealer around the eyes so that your eyeshadow really sticks. Or if you're doing a cream blush, you can dab a little bit of foundation on top of the layers that you have set. Now, a couple special products that you may fall in love with or want to buy. This is the banana powder from Ben Nye. This has been an essential in every makeup artist kit for years and there's nothing like this powder. It works on every skin tone and what you want to do is you just want to apply it right underneath the eye and it's going to brighten and lift. I mean you can already see the difference of where I've applied it on this side and how it just makes it look brighter and more lifted. So you can put that over here. This is like a magic product everybody needs. The Ben Nye Banana Powder. I think you can get it at Friends or I'll try to find a link and put it down there for you guys. And then for a little bit of contour um, powdering, this is a Makeup Forever palette which I have just filled up with my favorite contour colors. Again, you can do this at the drugstore, just get a darker or lighter shade face powder and you can use that as a contouring color. I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of this color right here and I'm just going to just do a little bit of contouring just to bring some color back to the face and give it a little bit of dimension. And you can watch my video on contouring for every face shape so you can see what contouring tips and tricks might work. Why do I say contouring? It's contouring. I will put a link for that below also. Now we're all done with our very full coverage foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting my makeup on and show you what it looks like all finished. And so this is the finished look once you have the makeup on. So basically the foundation is just priming the canvas that you're going to do all your painting on like an artiste. So once you get this perfected, then you can have fun with all different looks and you can see the difference it looks with my eye makeup, lips, blush, highlighter, eyebrows, everything else done. Then it looks very, very full coverage. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and it helps you out. Make sure that you subscribe and you follow me all over the interweb on Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, everywhere. I'm at Candy Johnson. I'll put a link to all those things below here. And then you you can go and check out my second channel, Candyland, my vlog channel. I will put a link for that below also. But as always, huge hugs from my bedroom to yours. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!